Hello. I've chosen to highlight Math's work because I'm a genuine fan of him and he makes me laugh, which is very, very important to the soul. I wanted to go back to basics because in the beginning it was him, he himself, that linked something very significant for me over a decade ago in my awakening process. He's not a believer in the creation, our firmament enclosed world, and that's fair enough, but he is a believer in the creator. So any like-minded person should be able to work with that. And this makes me very happy because he himself is also a creator of one of the movement's most powerful memes, photo or painting and also the creator of the online flat earth movement back in 2013 and 14. So every single claimed flat earther of the 21st century does owe this man their thanks and should consider buying one of his t-shirts, maybe in gratitude for that very important question, you know, photo or painting. Mine should be on its way across the flat seas to knees, so I will certainly be wearing it with passion so thank you for doing that. So Matthew Boylan, Math Powerland or Flat Earth Math, whatever, our former NASA operational graphics manager, worked for years creating photorealistic computer graphics for NASA. And he claims that NASA's sole reason for existence is to disinformatize the general public and promote the false ball earth heliocentric religious propaganda worldview. So we all should be able to totally get on board with that as real earth disciples of truth. So he originally was recruited because of his amazing skills and reputation as a hyper-realistic multimedia artist He's also a comedian, fluent in French, very, very intelligent, knows a lot of what's going on. But his art is a God-given talent in my mind. And I do thank the Lord for blessing Matt for that, with that. <laughs> his artwork is mind-blowing. Started doing projects like photoshopping various lighting and atmospheric effects onto the images of Earth. The moon, Jupiter, Europa, and look at what happens when we do things in Photoshop with that graven image. This looks rather familiar, doesn't it? So having proved himself and wanting to promote him to do more classified work, a room of NASA higher-ups during a dinner party at a type of initiatory rite explained to him in much more detail the reality of our geocentric flat earth model and how they have fooled the entire general public perpetuating it to this very day i'm afraid folks so he refusing to be part of that deception math cut all of his ties to nasa began researching the flat earth for himself and became a spokesperson on the online mainstream FE circuit as the creator of the movement himself started way back in I think 2011 until over the next few years clashing with unfortunately fellow mainstream believers and people who were opening their eyes to the truth path having issues with uploads and certain other uploaders on certain social media platforms, thus deciding to walk the path alone to truth. And I hear you, bro, you know, and so does somebody else, very important. So don't worry about that. He shows brilliantly how simple it is using nothing more than Adobe Photoshop and a video ed editor to create any and every type of image NASA proposes to be receiving from this Hubble telescope. He points out how in most ball earth videos, 
NASA's graphic workers don't even bother changing cloud structures in ordinary or time-lax footage. The same shape, the same color, the conditions, the cloud cover, all completely unchanged for 24 hours and longer. He makes so many important points to remember and to think about when one looks at that fake graven image of a globed earth. Why is the water so blue if it's reflecting the blue atmosphere, but we can still see the brownness of Africa? Wouldn't you see Africa through the blue atmosphere? Why is it green, the brown and the continent so clear with the blue of the water when the water of the oceans are reflecting the blue atmosphere? And thus the whole fake globe being three parts water, why does it not reflect the blackness of space? <laughs> Math states unequivocally that every single picture and video of the ball earth, all the moon, the Mars landings, the existence of orbiting satellites, space stations, and all Hubble images are hoaxed. How NASA officials and astronauts privy to the FE truth would laugh hysterically at the brainwashed zombie public who unquestionably believe their tell lie visions. And this is a brilliant, brilliant question. Every time that you do see a so-called real pic of the globe, it's always flat, isn't it? Like in a paper or on a poster in a magazine, it's flat. On the TV screen, it's flat. Your phone screen, your iPad, your laptop, your Kindle, all screens are flat, so it's in your face. The globe is flat, flat, flat. <laughs> Photo or painting. Water is the mirror of nature, and at rest, it's horizontal, folks. So we now know our created Earth is a flat one <laughs> and that everyone's been lied to and constantly brainwashed we now know the fake picture of the earth from the so-called outer space they claim taken on apollo 13 and other missions to that fake cartoony loony surface was to try and prove pythagoras and copernicus and all the other believers that they were right that the earth was a ball and that the sun is fixed well we could have saved them a lot of good money Yet for over the 450 years, boy, they repeated it to the public, assuming accepted it all without a shred of tangible empirical proof. So after many, many hundreds of years of saying it was a ball, a human would claim a craft, a machine, a rocket or a missile that would reach high enough to finally see if it was. And so that very fateful question, would they tell you? <laughs> Helly no centric, they won't. Never a straight answer is born, and the dark serpent that it represents. So thanks, bro, for telling us what happened to you and exposing the solar, evoluted, heliocentric religious system of NASA in that upload that you made all those very all those years ago. Without you, we would not be here. And you too do owe your thanks to the past real earth teachers on this very subject matter, <clears throat> from which now I read and study in very, very much detail, taking it into our real world experiences. So I'm going to just point out here the land that they're hiding that could be still right here, still within our creation border, but very, very heavily military guarded. 4,000 US troops or so went to Antarctica under Admiral Byrd and after which the place that was restricted territory to everyone calling it the treaty. So in addition, in 1875, HMS Challenger circumnavigated the imaginary continent. It traversed 69,000 miles 
Well, the circumference of our flat Earth is 52,800 miles, so they actually went around the extremities of the Earth. Sailors perished because they used maps of the globe which imply that they travelled further than they actually had, so they ended hitting land. Some land, I guess, friends, we are not supposed to know about, and it's kept hidden from us. But it's kind of a pattern when it comes to this heliocentric religion. Antarctica is 30 degrees colder than the Arctic and does not get 24 hours sunlight. 70% of the Earth's fresh water is surrounded by Antarctica. The Arctic Circle is 66.6 .6 degrees north. The Antarctic Circle is 66.6 .6 degrees south. 666 is the number of the beast. We've covered this before, friends, and it has very funny named places called Titan Dome, Law Dome, Dome Charlie, Dome Argus. There's a lot of domes. It's also very funny how you can ski in the mountains at all of the places that border the Earth's perimeter. South America, Africa, Australia, New Zealand and the Hidden Land. Perhaps the idea of a firmament is too much for most people to comprehend, to understand, hence why it is the second commandment. It's very important. The idea that we do live inside a structure of this ornament snow globe, if you will, it could be too much cognitive dissonance for most. However, there is a struggle to actually understand the biblical scriptures, the passages, the translations, and that very root meaning of the word firmament itself. <clears throat> Adding the correct understanding of electromagnetism is necessary to understand the creation which we all live in. If there is not a structure above then how does the air we breathe stay put? If you do believe in this helio globe earth model with a vacuum of an outer space nestled to the earth, then why and how does the air not just escape into that vacuum? Just think about it. There has to be a structure of some kind, a, a, a firmament, 73 miles or what up above to be able to retain the earth's air. And this is just one reason. Where there is charity and wisdom, there is neither fear nor ignorance. St. Francis of Assisi. But what you did for me all those years ago, Mr. Math Powerland, and for so many, many others, you helped open their eyes and join the dots. Words, uploads, messages just won't be enough. T-shirts, but this is just a mini seed in our vast tree of life. So God bless you. Much love to you in all your endeavors. And I hope you find whatever it is that you are searching for here in the creation. We are one very big family, brother. A cat purring on your lap is more healing than any pharmaceutical drug in the world as the vibrations you are receiving are of pure love and contentment thank you for your time you take care stay safe god bless and look after yourself